security scare near the White House. A 19-year-old driver in a U-Haul truck crashing into security barriers not once, but several times. Tonight, the Secret Service says he is a Nazi sympathizer who had a Nazi flag and who wanted to kill the president. The president was at the White House at the time, witnesses describing the frightening scene after dark. The truck slamming into the barriers, reversing, and then slamming right into them again. Police searching the truck using a robot to search for potential explosives or weapons. The Secret Service said the suspect pulled that flag with a swastika on it right out of his backpack. Images of it on the ground near the White House. Tonight, what we're now learning about the suspect court documents say he flew to Dulles Airport from St. Louis on a one-way ticket then rented that truck less than two hours before the attack. ABC's chief justice correspondent, Pierre Thomas, leading us off from the scene near the White House tonight. Tonight, the Secret Service claims the 19-year-old who allegedly rammed this U-Haul truck into a barrier only blocks from the White House is a Nazi sympathizer who wanted to kill the president. Newly released court documents say Cy Kandula told investigators his goal was to get to the White House, seize power, and be put in charge of the nation. When asked how he would seize power, Kandula allegedly said he would kill the president if that's what I have to do and would hurt anyone that would stand in my way. The dangerous situation unfolding Monday at 9.35 p.m when a 26-foot rental truck barreled toward the White House, sending pedestrians nearby running for their lives. Watch closely as the truck backs up and slams the barrier again. When it backed up and hit it again, I proceeded to run because I didn't know if someone was going to get out of the, the U-Haul with a weapon. Police descend on the scene. A robot is brought in to search for explosives and weapons, but none are found. The Secret Service saying Kandula pulled a flag with a swastika out of a black backpack before being arrested. Later allegedly telling agents he planned the attack for six months, adding that he bought the swastika flag because Nazis have a great history and that he embraces Hitler as a strong leader. President Biden briefed this morning. The president was here yesterday working at the White House. He's relieved that no one was injured last night. According to court documents, the suspect flew into Dulles International Airport from St. Louis on a one-way ticket and immediately rented the box truck less than two hours before the attack. Kandula has been charged with five counts, including assault with a dangerous weapon and threatening to kidnap or kill the president. The government says he's dangerous and a potential flight risk. David? Pierre Thomas at Lafayette Square there with the White House right behind him. Pierre, thank you.